Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We also given it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk in faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today I read from Christ in Our Home, April, May, June 2020 edition. Today is Tuesday, June 2nd. Today's Bible reading is Romans 8, 26 through 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is in the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Happy June 2nd. I've always looked up to my younger brother who has excelled as a student, musician, athlete, father, husband, and homeowner. He's always been for me a source of inspiration and strength. A few years ago, he was at the movies with his two sons when he unexpectedly became dizzy, fainted, and fell. He was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a disease which is thought to be caused in part by stress. There is no cure. Though my brother recovered quite well, he lost most of his hearing in one ear. Sometimes even the strongest among us experience weakness. In such times we call upon God for strength. But even when we feel so overwhelmed by a crisis that we don't know how to pray, then writes Paul, The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. God, who knows the cries of our heart, who knows what we need before we ask, sends comfort, healing, and life. Holy Spirit, when I feel weak, afraid, or alone, please assure me of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. 